What is a lion without his pride? What is a whale without his pie? What is a monkey without his truth? What is a wolf without his pack? The answer is very simple. They are the same thing that a human being is without a tribe. Pray. I am a genius. My ancestors were geniuses. My ancestors have made me a genius in all that I think, say, and do. I must declare myself a genius. I am a genius. Whenever I am myself, I practice my geniusness and do great things. All my thoughts, choices, and deeds must express my geniusness. I am a genius. My decisions must always be in the best interest of myself, my family, my people, and my God. Only then will I and everyone I know know that I am a genius. I am a genius. At all times, my geniusness must reflect my culture. My geniusness must serve my God. My geniusness must make me be one in love and harmony with my family. My geniusness must protect my people. Yes. yes, at all times I must demonstrate excellence because I am a genius. women, but the most important goddesses were black, not just for the African now, in the civilization of the Greek. The Greek was so profoundly affected by the Africans that the goddess of chastity was a black woman, Artemis. The goddess of wisdom was a black woman, Minerva. The goddess of beauty was a black woman, Diana. And many of their great mythological figures which were critical to the vision of history, the history of the Greeks in the Odyssey, 
The woman who draws, who has the power to draw Odysseus and all his crew into her, is Circe, who's represented as a black woman with African features on the Greek vases. The woman who helps Jason win the Golden Fleece is a black woman, Medea. The woman who marries Perseus, the Greek hero, is... Oh, we up? Oh, my fault. My fault. Are we up now? I'm just trying to share my video uh, with Miss Tracy. That's it. That's it. That's it. All right. All right. We are up. We are up. We are live in the place to be. Yes, Lord. We are here. We are live. And yep, I done learned how to put those caps on the mic so you won't shock ya! <laughs> but hey, I am hyped. I just got a sample of the site. Man, I'm so excited. He had to tell me, man, pull up, man. It ain't done yet. I'm looking at the site. I'm like, oh, I'm lost! Family, we gonna have our own media site. This shit is gonna be all the chain all the stuff that i was getting kicked off of other shit for i'm gonna be able to do it on our own private site and some of the shit that you been getting kicked off for you gonna be able to do on our site oh gee i mean journey is gonna turn a quarter in the next couple of months and i am so happy to be part of it it brings me to tears we got our own media station. And it's private. I can play old video. Have our own station. We can have our own private meetings. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's been a long journey, y'all. It's been a long journey. It's been a lot of Ambrosia making. Heartbreaking. World shaking. But yo, we have made it. We have made it. We have made it. And guess what, family? I'm opening up the black lines tonight so that we can have some conversation. Because we got some stuff to talk about. 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 Some of y'all might not be happy about some of the stuff that we got to talk about. But. Unfortunately, it's not my job to make sure that you're happy. I just have to be able to make you think. Whether you think and agree with me or think and disagree with me, it makes no difference. I don't even have the TV on. I'm so excited. Just being able to look at my sight brought tears to my eyes. I'm sitting up here like, good God Almighty. Brother, you done gave me the ability to to just, just take over the world. And I promise when I take over the world, I'm going to do a better job than Donald Trump. I'm going to treat you better than the Great Pumpkin. And Mitch McConnell and that Democrat lady, all these old white people, I'm going to treat you much better. I promise. 
<sighs> just wanted to get that out. It felt good. It felt good. So, family, what I was doing was um, Miss Tracy, one of our tribe members, Miss Tracy, she had a presentation today, and she knocked it out the park. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just sitting up here looking. I said, this is Giamme. Man, this is Giamme. Look, it's all over. And I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's Giamme all over it you know and i'm sitting up here like oh my god you know what i'm saying and 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 she did such a good job we want to make sure miss tracy knows we want to give a round of applause because (laughs) yep yami stand up stand up because the make change you got to start with small things before you move to big things let's master the small things before we move to big things let's let's run columbus before we start talking about taking over the country come on now you know what i'm saying oh man but hey it is time for tribal quotes um because y'all know i got an early morning i'm trying to get up and get back into this workout thing you know just like little moving the fascia around in my body you know what I'm saying? Moving around a little bit. You know, um, for those who have been following the blog, you know I've been getting attacked by a cat in the morning. And that's going to be the title of today's video. It won't be out for the next couple of days, but it's called When Cats Attack. It's something else. I can't remember what else. But um, but uh, we're having a, um, we, we are adjusted. Almost, I got to build the whole new playlist for this Spreaker station on this computer. But the only problem is I'm going to have to do this whole thing over again when I get the supercomputer built. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Heavy is the head that wears the hat of nation building family. Heavy is the head that wears the hat of nation builder and nation maintainer. Want to send shots out to the uh, to sisters, the nation builder sisters of the Tawi family village, because we had an excellent conversation today. And like a and, and like a, a sister Roni says, she said, it "Don't matter whether we agree or disagree. It's just good to be able to stretch our minds." You know what I'm saying? And 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 have conversations that may move some people to action because we know everybody ain't gonna get up and 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 and, and get to work but the 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 idea is there and that's the goal in many uh, in many occasions to, to 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 place the idea the idea there so um what we're gonna do right now is I need to open up these lines like I promised I'm gonna open up these lines I'm sitting up here running my mouth I done forgot to open up the lines again I'm just Family, I'm excited. You know what I'm saying? I mean, after all these years, we have our own platform. We can decide what stays up and what comes down. Spinning wheel, going round and round. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's just, that's just how it is. We get to do it. And I'm loving it. It's like McDonald's. I'm loving it. Just like McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I guess they, I don't know why my phone got to ring that many times. It's almost, it's almost embarrassing that my phone got to ring that damn many times when it's my phone. I'm calling myself. So I don't want to speak to myself. Obviously, I don't want to pick up the phone to talk to me. That's what it seems like uber you're making it look like i don't want to talk to myself come on now let's get it all right um so family we are on proverb well we we read them we read them some of them this morning and let's go and run through them um if somebody called that's a beautiful thing we'll go on and we'll put them on oh let me get i need to chase c's real quick real quick uh hmm Full screen, that's what I want. 
There we go. There we go. Shouts out. She said, how many did you smoke? What? Smoke what? Well, nothing illegal. Nothing illegal here. Mm-mm. No, Lord. I'm, I'm just, I, you know, I mean, if it's sights, I smoked the whole one. And I'm going to share the site with you because I want y'all to see what y'all have enabled us to build. I mean, just with the small, I want y'all to imagine, just with the small amount of supporters we have, we've been able to do this. With the small amount of people we got buying that ambrosia, we was able to do this. The studio is small, but it's still a studio. The lights, you know, I had to downsize. We already spoke about that to, uh, those that follow the blog, GiamiJourney.com. You know, um, the site. Some of the books, the advertisements, all this has been a community affair. Y'all supported me. Y'all supported Giamme. And we turned around and we flipped it. Not illegally. We flipped it legally. And we are only going to get better at it, at it. Now, we got the game. That's going to be dropping hopefully this weekend. The first game. Then we got the second game. First game is going to help with hand-eye coordination. Get 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 our get our young people and those of you that like games and like sitting around and playing the games. And because you're bored, you ain't got nothing else to do. Get your hand and eye coordination together. Right? Also, bless your eyes with some Afrocentric symbols. Right? The second game is going to help you build up. Your mental capacity help you build up your memory and spatial awareness. And once again, it's going to be using our symbols. I'm going to save it. I won't save it. It might not be dropping until around, you know, October, September, October. I don't know. We I'm working on it, but it's coming. Right. So <clears throat> let's get let's go to the site. I'm gonna take y'all to the site. What I know so far about the site. How good it looks. Alright, and so now of course, um let me go on back because I, I did the transition wrong. Let's go on the transition right. You know, there we go. So I'm bring you around. We're going to, we're going to, you know, a start site. I'm going to show you how to get to it. We're going to, this is a tutorial. We're going to do a tutorial because I want to make sure everybody understand, right? I can't stream to it yet. He told me, slow down, man. He said, slow down, man. I ain't said it works. I'm just, I'm just showing you, right? So, we're at the start screen. What you're going to do is, once we start doing it, rather than putting in G and J Media Live, like here, and going to this, this is where we at. This is this, this where we at now. Boom, right here. Right? Right here. You go right here. You know, we got merchandise and other stuff like that on there. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I ain't mad. It's beautiful. Right? But, no. Nah. We're going to go a little bit different. We're going to take off a couple of letters, and we're just going to take G-N-J dot media. You see it popping up on the screen? Do you see that GMA symbol on there? You know what I'm saying? Of course you know I'm going to freak that out. I just want y'all to know. just want you to know. It's going to be another. It's, it's going to be an official G-N-J uh, media one up there. So when you come, right, you have to log in. So you go over here. And you click the Daily Toaster, celebrating life, family, and our ancestors with Daily Toast of Remembrance. Log in. Bow. It's going to take you. Be like, all right, cool. It's going to take you to this. 
But hey, hold on. I don't have the e. I I don't have a password, but I, I haven't signed up yet. I said, okay, cool. So we're going to go back. We're going to go back. You're going to go over here to try. And you're going to click try. And then you throw in your name and your user ID. And if you're not a member, you're going to go to sign up. You're going to go to sign up. You're going to sign up, put your name. Put your username, email address, password, prove that you're not a machine, and click, 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 click. Guess what? You are in your new home. Right? Well, we're going to be able to post up all the videos we want, your videos. You're going to be able to. You see that ad external live streaming? You're going to be able to have a live stream that comes in. You're going to be able to broadcast a live stream from here. Oh, I mean, if you're a member, right? You're going to be able to, you know, check your messages. You're going to be able to, you know, submit and upload your own videos, download your videos. We're going to be able to have conversations. Look, you got a, we got a home that you go to. Got your little home your own little personal home that you go to. You're going to be able to see what's trending on our sites. You're going to be able to check your account, check your videos, have your channel, possibly have your own dashboard, blah, blah, blah. This is my, this is my panel, you know. This this, 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 this the control panel. But let's go and get out of here. You know, I don't want to bore y'all right now, right? And you'd be like, but what about chatting? Can we chat? Yes. On the side of the videos, right? You can set up and have people come in and, and and we could talk around the videos or you could have a video be your conversation. But there is a place for us to chat. We still learning this because he, he set it up, but he's still learning about aspects of it, too. <laughs> you click on here. You got my account, my videos, my channel, dashboards, subscribers. Can I, you know, so it's like it is incredible. So I'm like, okay, so let's go get out. Let's go and get out of here. Let me log out. I'm going to sign out. I'm going to sign out. Mind my business, right? Boom. There we go right here on Giami Journey. Right? There we go right there on Giami Journey. They ain't, they ain't even upgrade the screen from this morning. That's from this morning. No, that's just this afternoon. But they ain't upgrade the chat. Oh, unless. Oh. All right. Uh, Mac is up. How you doing, sweetheart? Welcome. Welcome. All right. I thought that was from this morning. I need those games. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mama Margarita. And I mean, you're going to think I'm playing, but I'm not. The games are only designed for Android. Apple costs a little bit too much to, you know, I, you know, I'm going to get it. But Apple's, in order to get into their store and stuff like that, you got, you know, Apple be robbing them. Up. Rap Apple, and what makes Apple so, in a sense, so powerful is that it it totally, totally controls uh, everything that comes in and everything that goes out of Apple. And they make it, they make it very, Apple is a luxury item. A lot of people don't know that. Apple, just owning an Apple says that, hey, I have a little bit of affluence, right? All right, so y'all saw the site, so we here we go right here. We got the lines open. Let me go and make sure y'all know what number to call in to get to get to us. I'll do it over here. But let's go on over here to Giami Journey for a second. Call in line. Black line is open. Let's go and talk about these proverbs. Yep, it went up. Let's get up here and let's talk about these proverbs. So, I'm using today, I'm using the, the latest book that we got coming out. Y'all check out Dr. Kelsey's books. He got We got both of his books as well. Um, this will be... Uh, Soon as it's finished and I'm satisfied and, and the author is satisfied, this will be uploaded to all of those that are uh, supporters of Giami Journey. Okay. Um, it's a workbook um, and it's based on 
the work of Erskine Peters. It's called his book is called African Openness to the Tree of Life. This book right here is called African Deep Thought Workbook. Um, and you will be able to get your copy at AfricanDeepThought.com. AfricanDeepThought.com. Um, so um, be on the lookout. It's not up yet. It's not up yet. I'm still trying to work out some of the bugs. But we got the book here. And we got the book up so that y'all can see it. So that y'all can read it and y'all can see the workbook. Now, this is a writable PDF. Now, because it got so many pages, I couldn't translate it into uh ebook i mean the flip book so you got to work with the with the pdf okay all right so we got we on proverb the second chapter which is called the potent center um and the ninth proverb we start in there it says say the knowledge holders centering leads to self-knowing self-knowing is a dynamic of destiny say the knowledge holders the relation to the center is the guide for the self. The center is the reflector of for the self, say the knowledge holders. That's proverb number one. So, of course, you you know, you scribe it out. You pick out some keywords in there that you want to work with. You define the keywords that you selected out. You write the proverb in your own words, and then you, how does this proverb apply to you today? Then we go to... um. 210. This is if like you on the 21 day challenge because I'm working with some of y'all. We're going to be working with some of y'all in the morning, especially when we get the side up, because those daily toasters that want to go a little bit deeper, you know what I'm saying? We could do some stuff on our own site. <laughs> uh, that feels so good to be able to say, we got our own home. We got our own home. I'm so man. I am. I am. I am giddy. You know what I'm saying? When I I was when I seen it because I was just I just was fooling around. I, I go to I was going. I go to it a little bit every day. I typed in GNJ Media today and it said log in. So I immediately got on it. What it mean? He said, man, I already got your log in together. Here, boom, dude. Hit hit me up with the code. Hit me up with it. I I'm I'm in. Oh, and I'm walking around, and I'm just like, oh, oh, oh. Now we could do some real building. Now we could talk. Now, in many ways, we got our own space where we could really, really talk our minds. We could live stream. We eventually going to be able to have live discussions on there. Only open to those that we allow in. We got our own territory, our real own territory. Halt, who goes there? No, that's not the right code. That's not the right code. Um, but here we go. The center is the stone of faith, said the knowledge holders. Recognition of the center labels self-confidence. Doubt of the center marks the imperfected. A person will be foolish not to connect to the center Set in knowledge holders. You got the process that you go through. Some of those of you that's following it, and you, if you had a book, you know what I'm saying? Mm, mm, mm. Proverb, I mean, chapter 2, Proverb 11. Set in knowledge holder. The center opens forth for the imperfected. The part becomes the whole at the center. Set in knowledge holders. That don't, I, I mean, that's an excellent proverb, but that don't sound right. Let me see. Okay, it is. That's the right one. All right. So let's go and look at them. Um, somebody in the chat. Somebody in the chat pick a number between one and three. Somebody in the chat pick a number between one and three. I will give you a little bit of time. Do, 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 do. Do 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 Curses upon my soul. Lord have mercy. Where the hell did that come from? <clears throat> All right, here we go. <clears throat> Elder Margarita, thank you very much. She typed in a number three, so we will go and we will do number 
three. And it just so happened that we are on number three. That is Proverb um, second chapter, 11th Proverb. Said it not a shoulder. The center opens forth for the imperfected. The part becomes the whole at the center. Sat the nail. Now it's supposed to be saying, okay. All right. I get, I, I get, I got to get some corrections now. Got to do some proofreading. It's kind of hard being the, 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 see, and, and, and this is, this is what's similar about me and my sister, the sister that put this book together, Terra Hansen. We lay down some shit and don't want to even go back over it. I don't know. If, maybe that's an author thing. I, it, it's like, after you get done with it, it's like, I don't want to go. I don't want to go back. I, I Even years later, I, I just don't want to go back over that. You know what I'm saying? But let's look at it. Um, lines are open 614-556-4535. 614-556-4535. Um, I, I'm going to ask you not to hide your wisdom under a bushel. I want to ask you to let your light shine. Call in because the words that you speak might be the very words that somebody out there in the world needs. All right, hold on. This this got to be emergency because I know he know I'm on my show. What's up? You say why? Who? Who? You know I'm doing my show. Can you call me after my show? All right. Okay, I mean, like I said, I spoke to her. That's all. All right, all right, peace. Drama in the tribe, drama in the tribe, always. But you know, we got to be there for our family. But here we go. Said the knowledge holder, the center opens forth for the imperfected. The center opens forth for the imperfected. What? What do you think that means? Some of y'all out there in the chat, go and put something up. I'm able to see it over here on my other screen. Say the knowledge holders. The center opens forth for the imperfected. Now, just think about it. Because the name of this chapter, if you got the book, because even if you get the the the, the African Op African Deep Thought. I would highly suggest you get this book. This is one of the best. This is my all-time favorite book. And this book literally changed my life, opened my mind. I always thought it would be a thicker book that would do it, but this little thin book right here has answered and has helped me through more difficult times than any other book I have ever run across. And that's for me personally, right? Now, so these books go hand in hand, right? But anyway, <clears throat> the center opens forth for the imperfected. So the name of the chapter is the potent center. Potent, for those that don't know, potent, P-O-T-E-N-T -E means powerful. Potent means powerful. Somebody just called in. How you doing? Welcome to Giami Journey. What up? It's Quasi. Oh, long time no here. How you doing? Um, you know, surviving um in the humanity potentially. You said what? Surviving the potential in the humanity. You know. He said surviving the potential in of humanity. Mm. Well, I'm up. Yeah, yeah, it's something. Yeah, me, you, me, me, yeah, yeah, me and you both. We, we, we'll be laughing at the other side of the apocalypse, drinking, having a good time. Um, the center opens for for the imperfected. So when we talk about the center, right? Because in this book, the center, I mean, it, the center is so important that it has its own chapter, and it talks about everything in a sense. Rotating around the center and out of the center, just in the beginning verses of this book, they then gave us the secret to immortality. They then gave us the secret to overcoming all of our enemies. All of it has to do with aligning ourselves with the center, 
moving towards the center. So the center is open for all those that want to come come towards it. Because if you are not in the center, then you are not perfected. All of us have to find the center of our life. The center of our purpose. The center of our existence. And as we start moving towards that, we move towards what they call perfection. A more, a, 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 a bettering, let's say, a bettering of who we are. It says the part becomes whole at the center. So those things that are outside of the center are pieces. So now what, what is this potent center that this brother keeps talking about? What is the potent center that this brother keeps talking about? In our tradition, you know what I'm saying, because, because we lack the words. I ain't going to even say lack the words, but the words in the West Asian language that we have been given kind of kind of disempowers the idea of the center. God is the word that we use. If it was if we was dealing with Central Asians, the word would be Allah. And the word kind of for because because of the mind state that comes with you saying it, it removes you. It automatically removes you from the center. God is external. God is away from you. In our traditions, we saw the center in each being. And we, we tried to move each being towards perfecting themselves by moving towards that center. So in different languages, it, 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 we had similar concepts, but all of them was, it was about letting you know that this was a part of you. But as we, as we dealt with these incursions, we eventually started uh, reflecting upon our potent center in the same ways that our enemies did. We operate as our enemies do. God is external. God is watching you rather than God is part of the experience that you're having. <laughs> Big difference. God is not watching you in our tradition. God is part of you. God is in the experience. God flows through you, not around you, within you. Outside of you is in everything. That force. That's where the term I say come from. It's a connecting power. And it connects all of us. Good ones and the bad ones. The part becomes whole at the center. So when we start moving towards the center, we become whole. Right? We become whole. And to move towards the center, we got to we got to practice certain things like there's a term. In math, well, I, you know, and Kwame probably call in and correct me, but it's a term called integer. And, and and when I was in school, I never got it. But when I really started studying outside of school, I really started to understand what an integer was. Because I don't know if y'all know this, but integer is the root word of is the root of the word integrity. Whole number, whole, wholeness. When we start moving towards the center, we start developing an integrity, a wholeness. When we move towards the center. So the center is a, is, is a very powerful concept and you will find the idea of the center throughout our culture. And the power of, of the center when it's not removed from us. I want y'all to imagine how powerful we would be if we really recognize what and where the center was. Not just, not just philosophize about it. Not just use big words to describe it, but actually had that feeling. Actually had that 
that experience. Yo. Go ahead. I don't know if you already kind of touched on this, but it just occurred to me that we over here fighting over left and right politics. Yes, we are. Harder than the people whose system it is. Well, I ain't going to say harder because you, cause I want you to understand this. about well, go we're, ahead. We're, we're, letting it, we're letting it come between us. That's true. The way that they are. That's well. I I I I would disagree with you again on that on on that on that point too. Not saying that it's good either way, but you know their shit, their whole culture is split. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we argue. What I I I feel what you're saying. I'm, I'm gonna just shut up. But yeah, but so what you're saying is that even in our politics, our politics pulls us away from the center. <laughs> We see we we see these principles, and the farther away you get from the center, the most the more you disintegrate. That integrators in there, de- you disintegrate. The farther away you move from your center, family, we got to decide on where we gonna be. The center. Or we gonna be at the edge of the 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 universal circle. We gonna be on the right side, or we gonna be on the left side. We gonna be up. We gonna be down. When being centered is is so much easier. In some cases, so. Uh, of course, those that would be, you know, following along with us, and they had this, and they had this, this ebook. You would be able to go on and jot your stuff down, jot your thoughts down. Be like, boom, you do that. You do all this before the show, and then when we come to the show, write the proverbs in your own word. But then you go be like, how does this proverb affect me today? Quasi said. So Quasi brought up the con, the, uh, the idea that even. In our politics, we are being pushed or pulled away from our center. And ultimately, what they're asking asking us to do when when you choose either side is to ignore some of the relevance with either perspective. Because every perspective has validity. Oh man! So you saying that when you when you move further to one side, I, I it, it's harder to see the validity of the other side. But when you're in the center, you kind of sit around it. But but you know, and 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 but this society, the way it's shaped, it makes it almost impossible to be centered. Have you have you have you um noticed that? <laughs> have I? <laughs> he didn't just laugh at he said, have I? Has anybody anybody else find it very hard to be centered in this society that we in? Is it just us? We can barely we can barely even trust each other. We can barely even, and you know what I mean? We don't even do each other right, you know? Mm. And we, we both victims and villains. And both. And, like, all of our relationships. Right. Right. Victims. You said victims and villains and victims. Wow. Wow. In all of our relationships. In all of our relationships. Mm. But these proverbs give you something to really think about. You know what I'm saying? Think about and then actually start to act on. Because one of the major pieces we try to do in, in Giami is to make sure that those people that are involved with us, I mean, start picking up on, on, on some of these proverbs and start, in, I mean, because like I got my favorites and they have, the, the favorite proverbs have kind of shaped my existence. How I deal with others, how I deal with myself, 
and I'm always able to come back. So one of the reasons we want to do this this digital PDF because you can always come back and, and check your answer maybe a year later and and see have you grown or have you um, um, regressed? Have you become more integrated, integrate? Have you developed more integrity? Or have you started disintegrating? Mm. All right. So we did number three. Number three. Number three is down. Now, those are my opinions, family. I don't want, you know what I'm saying? My opinions, my ideas. I'm giving you an opportunity to call in and share yours. 614-556-4535. Uh, we're trying to li- we're trying to hear from y'all, but hey, hey, hey. So now, Aquasi, we only got number one and number two left. Which one do you think we should we should we should cover first? Uh, I will be taking a blind stab at it. I didn't hear what they were. Don't worry about it. Um, it's only two. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the even numbers. All right, so you're gonna go with number two, which makes it easier for me, because all I gotta do is go back. Wow, here we are. We are on Proverb 2. We are on Chapter 2, Proverb 10. The center is the stone of faith, said the knowledge holders. Recognition of the center labels self-confidence. Doubt of the center marks the imperfected. A person will be foolish not to connect to the center, say the knowledge holders. Damn. All right, let's take it in bite yeah. side pieces. Go ahead. Can you say one more the whole thing again? The center is the stone of faith, said the knowledge holders. Recogn- faith? Faith. F A I T H. Imani. Okay. Mm-hmm. The center is the stone of Imani, said the knowledge holders. Recognition of the center labels self confidence. Doubt of the center marks the imperfected. A person would be foolish not to connect to the center, said the knowledge holders. Mm. All right. By size, the center is the stone of faith. Now, in this... I'm imagining, and I could be wrong. That's why I need your help. 614-556-4534. What is it, Sasha? 614-59-4-9-4-9-4-9-4-9-4-9-4-9-4-9-4-9-4-9-4-9-4-9-4-9-4-9-4-9-4-9-4-9-4-9-4-9-4-9-4-9-4-9-4-9-4-9-4-9-
The center is the stone of faith. And you could just go on and 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 really, really explore what's on your mind. See, because now part of part of this power the power of this book is it forces you to ask questions. What in the hell does that mean? And what you start finding out, once you start asking the questions, the answer the answers will start revealing themselves to you in your daily activities. Maybe even in your dreams. So what do you mean by the center is the stone of faith? What does that mean? How do um, one, of the, one of the key words that Brother Kwame always talk about is the practical applications of our ancient, of ancient African wisdom. It is no good <laughs> if we can't actually apply some of the stuff that we have. This is, this is a complicated but at the same time, a simple one. The stone of faith, the center. When you recognize the center, you recognize faith. You you understand is is bigger than just believing in. You have something solid to basically hold you down. Because a stone, if I'm correct, if a stone can hold you down, or give you something firm to stand upon. Understanding the center in your life would, would, would break up a lot of confusion that many of us might experience. I think I think part of the issue is because many of us don't recognize our center, because many of us don't rep- recognize the center, we get caught up in these fringe things, as, as Quasi was talking about, like with the politics. We get caught up in left or right. We we get removed from the stone. We end up saying stuff like WAP is personal empowerment for females for for our women. I don't even know what that is. What is WAP? What does it stand for? Can I say it? Go ahead. I mean it's genius Jamie Journey Media. Wet ass pussy. Wow. Is that what that mean? Yes, sir. And they say that that's what is that? What they what they what they claim that be? It's empowering. Oh. Huh. For who? I'm sure. Perverted white men who ask me. I I uh, oh uh, so I, I'm at a loss of words. I I mean I'm I guess I'm out I'm I'm out of the I'm out of the loop. Is this a real thing? I've been seeing the word WAP, and and I've been, but I, I've been skipping the stories, and and I see there's some controversy around it. <laughs> That's where we at. That's where our people are. No, that ain't where our people are. Let me tell you. That's where the industry wants us to be. See, because for every, I'm going to put it like this, for every young WAP out there, there's another, there's, there, 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 man, I, and, and see, what's incredible is this is why I keep telling us to start looking for our principles. And because you, when you start looking for your principles, you start use, looking, looking at, you start seeing young and old people using them. And you'll start seeing that, they are not winning. As Mama Marguerite, as Mama Margarita say every time when she posts something up, we will win. It ain't even that we will win. We are winning. So now they got to come out with something that's empowering like that, right? Wow. That's empowering. That's 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 the way it is. But the fact of the matter is, that is not what we think. That is what the industry is. That's why it's important for us to have our own media as well. Because this is a media outlet that is trying to take over the minds. But they are not going to get them all. They might get a few. They might get a few. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, you say they got more than a few? <laughs> well, I mean, a lot of us are, are susceptible. Oh, yeah. A lot of us are 
a lot of us are searching for a center. I mean, right, uh, right. We're not connected to the center, so that they're they're looking for something that they can grasp onto because the rock is necess- it's, it's necessary. It's it's something that we must have. We it, are in search of it if we don't have it. Right now, but. Just because you think that you might have, for example, WAP is slippery, so it's hard to hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? You'll slide away from the center. Yeah, yeah you certainly will. <laughs> you slide towards the center. I don't know. Sorry. Okay, let's keep going. But 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 the point the point I'm saying is that's where like I said that's where our discussions come into play it come into play you know what I'm saying because one of the key pieces is when our young people hear us talking about concepts and talking about problems they'll start learning how to distinguish the real from the unreal they'll understand more of them, more and more of them are understanding that we are war. You don't find it strange that at the same time, because I want you to understand what, what, what all that's happening right now. So we got the whole WAP movement. And at the same time, Joe, um, um, Biden says, look, I am going to get a running mate and it's going to be a black woman. So at the same time, we got, we got, a major attack going on in i mean and it's like pulling or uh, an attempt to separate a cause of friction between our women because some of our women's going to take the wap the whole wap argument they're going to take that shit they're going to take that shit as very very offensive we know this mm-hmm and other other grown ones is gonna take it like you yeah, tell the truth, baby. Tell the truth. It's the truth. So now they're gonna be they're gonna be beefing. And once again, that's two extremes that's pulling away from the center. And we and we know it according to um uh what this book talks about. Uh Mac Word said James Brown said on the one. Margarita said, we are together. Margarita said, power, a third eye. And Max says, James Brown said, on the one. Damn. Ooh. At the center, right? On the one. At the center. On the one. I like that. Go ahead. Now, so let's go. Let's move on. So the, the center is the stone of faith. Go and think about that for a while. Go on, You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, all, this is this is about discussion this is about this is not this is, this is not stone this is not the stone and it's not engraved in stone this is about your growth think about it what does it mean roll it around in your head focus on it for 60 seconds i challenge you focus on it and then after you focus on the stone of the center is the stone of faith. Ask yourself for 60 seconds. What is my center? Recognition of the center labels self-confidence. Recognition of the center labels self-confidence. We become more confident the more, the closer we become to the center. More confident. You know, and and we have to, we have to learn to distinguish between confidence and what's that other word? Um, arrogance cockiness. and yeah. cockiness. Cockiness. And hey, a- I just, I got to put in, a, my bad, go ahead. Go, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I got to put in a plug. I ain't even, you know what I mean? Like connected to, but it's, I mean, if you need some, some music to listen to, some revolutionary music, it's an album called The Seven by Talib Kweli and Styles P. I'm telling you, if I'm going to war, that shit banging. Mm. He said, he said, too confident to be cocky to keep it real. That shit, man, he goes, they go in, in. They got a song, man. That's, that's, I'm The Seven. Talib Kweli, 
and Styles P. Is it old or is it new? It's like two years old. Okay. And it's called The Seven. All right. Yeah, it's only seven songs. Bangers. Okay. Like straight up. Like if you turn that song on, if you turn that on, you going you ready to you ready. <laughs> you ready, like. All right. I mean you 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 you've been pretty good at keeping me keep me on the music I, but you know I get stuck on it for about ten years and shit. You know so this but ten year one. I've been listening to this since it came out. I don't listen too much. You say recognition of the center labels self confidence. When we recognize the center we become become we become truly confident. We become more confident in what we're doing. Less arrogant, less less cocky. Just confident. Everybody don't have to know that you good at what you do. You just do it and people be like, I'm amazed. Right. I be feeling myself when I be patting my ego. I be knowing what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Mm, you word, word. Doubt of the center marks the imperfected. So so the center is it, it, it. So once again, now what we have to wrestle with is, and maybe there's no answer to it. Maybe it's better to be a mystery. But the title of the chapter is called the Potent Center. And at the beginning of our conversation, I was talking about how this potent center may have been the concept of, as we call it in in the language that we use right now, is God. But maybe this is something else. What is the center? What is your center? Somebody out there in the chat. What's your center? Or as uh, Mac pointed out for us, what's your one? Well, the center... <laughs> Man, that just you just confirmed it, Hatem. You just confirmed it. You just confirmed my theory beyond a shadow of a doubt. This thing that we, uh, we I guess we can call it God or whatever, um, the 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 uh, the first source, uh, Allah, um, the you know the Most High. It's it's zero. Zero is the center. Ooh. Ooh. It's nothing. It's it's nothing. It's it's the possibility for things. It's the possibility, the inf- infinite possibility. We you about to you about to make a Kwame call up in here. <laughs> nah, I'm telling you, dog. Kwame, listen, Kwame go in on some. Hey, listen, because he'll call he'll call in and have have a math question that will conf- confound you, and you be like, damn, I'm like. On, on on it because you know because you because you know because he already came on here and spanked me about the zero, you know. I so oh, really? I, oh man, oh man. He ain't ne- now he ain't never totally tell me I'm wrong, but he came on here and spanked me about the zero before. Because you know I mean that's I mean that's that's what he do. He he works he works. That's what he do. Numbers. You know, and it was less. Well, le- to hear that. Uh, it, it was. I need to hear that perspective. It was less about. It was less about. What you're talking about, and more about the concept when we say in Giame that zero is not a number. Oh, he spanked my ass on that shit. He oh, he spanked my. Oh. So he said zero is a number. He said zero is a number. He huh. said, I, and I, I I can't even remember. How, but he said zero's a number. Shut that shit up, baby. Shut that shit up. You you, you talk. You, you you had me all the way until you. <laughs> I, I call zero and God and all of that thing same thing. I call it that which exists while not existing. That which exists while not existing. Because you can't show me zero something. Uh, there you go. <laughs> All right, Black Yoda, is that you? Well, who this? Hello? Let's see who on the line. Oh no, that that that's probably Shaka. Shaka, you there? 
Shaka, you might have to call. Go ahead. Well, what's taking so long? What's going on? What's, get, get your phone together, young man. Get your phone together. Yes, sir. I had it on mute. What's uh, going on? Uh, we just, we, we talking. We thought you was the black yoda calling in. Mac, uh, Mac, Mac says, uh, uh, first, Elder Margarita say, no, it's everything within us. Mac says, the universe. Hmm. Doubt of the s- What's the question? Uh, you, bro, you come on now. You want just, right, just, okay, just, okay, just, I- just go on the ride. Enjoy the ride. Okay. Doubt of the sinner marks the imperfected. A person will be foolish not to connect to the sinner. A person will be foolish not to connect to the sinner. Once again, what is your sinner? A person will be foolish not to connect to the sinner. Once again, the question on the floor for us to wrestle with, to 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 think about, to debate, to throw out ideas, is what is the center, this potent center that uh, my man Erskine Peters found all types of African proverbs that focused on the African center. And and the that, that focus. And if you want to do the research yourself, he gives you a beautiful bibliography. In two part in two places in the book. It's two different bibliographies for this little book. Um they cover everything from Infa. Uh, man, there's a lot of books, a lot of books that he did research on. So we're going to leave that one there. We're going to move on because it's 1021 and y'all know I got to get up at about four o'clock so I can try to do, I'm trying to do my workout. I'm trying to get back into my workout. We're going to move to the last one and we're going to let Shaka go. Shaka going to get the, Shaka going to get the, uh, cut his teeth on this one tonight. Say the knowledge holders, centering leads to self-knowing. Self-knowing is the dynamic of destiny. Ooh, the not say the knowledge holders. Self-knowing is the dynamic of destiny. Say the knowledge holders. The relation to the center is the guide for the self. The center is the reflector for the self. Oh my God. Say the knowledge holders. All right, Shaka, you up? He like what? Okay. I'm gonna I'm need you. I'm gonna need you to just. To, all right. The first time I heard it, I dissected it. Now I just need you to say it so I can get a running start. You want me to say the whole thing, or you want me to stop at? Say the whole, the whole thing. Say the knowledge holders. Centering leads to self knowing. Self knowing is the dynamic of destiny. Say the knowledge holders. The relation to the center is the guide for the self. The center. Is the reflector for the self. Okay. Now, what I like to do is is uh, I'm gonna break it down line for line as it relates real fast, and that's why I'm gonna need you, Hot Tim. I, I, I like I like having having it repeated just as I'm going because it keeps me on okay. on point, right? Because we've been doing this for some time now. I'm starting to realize what it is within me that needs to change to be able to you know push forward and that's part of the message because the first line of that piece say it one more time centering leads to self-knowing centering leads to self-knowing right word so when i look at my when i look at my ultimate behavior versus my daily behavior and the routines that i set for myself right Work. And I go to sleep and I wake up the next day and I'm like, man, I still need to do this, that, and the other because I didn't do that yesterday when I woke up, right? Right. That reflecting on that activity is what's going to cause me to get closer to center. Center is focused to me. Center is that focused energy that is um, aligned with the energy inward and outward. Mm. Okay. Right, right. 
Who else on the line? That? That's Quasi. Quasi. What's up, Quasi? What's happening, brother? Hey, hey. Did, did you have something you wanted to say? What's, I'm trying to think of that mathematical term of, like, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's something that was integer. Or no, it's not necessarily integer, but um, it's a number that is the opposite. The negative, like, if you have a negative number, whatever the number is, uh, in positive form. Uh, Irrational? Right. Nah. Nah. Somebody it's call in and help. Kwame, I know. I Kwame, go, go ahead. <laughs> All right. So, hot Tim, if you will. Number two? Uh, the, first, the first two lines. Come All right. The first one. So I'm, I'm taking out set of knowledge holders. Centering leads to self-knowing. Yes. Self-knowing is the dynamic of destiny. Right. Okay. So when you come into a certain alignment with yourself, understanding your character and the character of the circumstance outside of you, the way that you behave during that imperfect moment, the way that you behave in that uh, whatever adversity you're dealing with is what pronounces who you are to yourself because you've never been in that situation before. But the fact that you're courageous enough to stand in it and to represent self, it allows you to establish that conversation and understand what the universe wants you to do at the moment. Ah, uh, well, sorry. What, what happened? Yeah. What happened? I don't know. I found it, and in, in, in I, I found it. And if y'all ain't ready, are y'all sitting down? Go ahead. The, the number, the word that I was, the term that I was looking for is absolute value. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Absolute value. Now, the absolute value is the same within and without, right? Um, the absolute, like, if you, the number six, the absolute value, the absolute value of negative six is six. That's how many. That's how far away from the center you are. Ooh. Right. Mm-hmm. So whether you go right or left, or up or down, so, you're still so six what, away. In, in terms of what Quasi's saying, the center is zero, and the way that we count zero is God. Y'all be careful with that Kwame listening. <laughs> uh, and uh, Sister Max says Gargut. That is. I can't remember the term, but uh, uh, Brother Philip Shock Matthews uh, uh, interviewed a brother who has a theory called Galgut. Um, if if you could, Sister uh, Mac, can you uh, break down the word Galgut so I can uh, say it to everybody? And when I ran into this, because it's a universal equation that this dude came up with, um, I defer, you know the first person I gave it to. And Kwame was like, yeah, this is impressive. You you, you, wow. you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, wow. You know, because I'm used to you. I'm used to, so I'll be like, boom, I throw it at, throw it at Kwame. Kwame say, hey, 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 that, that's, that's impressive. All right. Hmm. So, so self-knowing is the dynamic of destiny. And I'm so, going to go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. So, I want to make sure that that part is clear. Self-knowing, once again. Self-knowing is the dynamic of destiny. Self-knowing is the dynamic of destiny. All right. When, when you know who you are, it's not a thing of if and of, You know your character, right? You know to some degree because of your character, what you're supposed to do in certain circumstances. Is that, it, is that a, um, I don't know if it's a thing of, of, of free will or if it's a thing of just the God's mean, God, God's number, right? Does, I mean, how, how much, one out of ten, how much does our uh, astrological signs really dictate our behavior? Mm. I, I would think as as much as we allow. <laughs> but do we really have control over it? No. I mean, well, let me say, if we unconscious, I would say no. If you unconscious, it's certain thing. But 
But when you become conscious of certain behaviors, you have the ability to change them. Because we all have seen people who have changed their, I mean, basically changed their character. They find right. something new to believe in, and it's like they're a totally different person. Now, check this out. You know what happened to me, Hatem, when I realized these things? Number one, coming from Cle- when I was 18, coming from Cleveland to Columbus, it was the first, it was my first independence, right? I transformed because of the dynamics of the city that I moved into. There's certain things that are a part of my character that was influenced by Columbus. When I left Columbus, now, before, I, when I was in Columbus, I lived there during a gentrification process that it, I'm now experiencing in Cleveland. But when I left Columbus, I went to New Jersey. When I went to New Jersey, I experienced yet another dynamic that I didn't, I didn't, uh, I wasn't introduced to in, in Columbus. When I went to New Jersey, 80% of the people around me that I engaged in these conversations with were from the island, first and second generation. So their perspective on American culture was totally different than what we're talking about as black Americans. I'm talking about people from Trinidad, from Jamaica, from Guyana, from Haiti, from the Dominican Republic, from Puerto Rico. We have in real engaged spiritual conversations. It ain't like nothing that I experienced in Columbus because of the character of the conversation in Columbus. So when you see yourself in all of those different scenarios and then you, like me, come back home to a place like Cleveland, and you're like, man, this place is so underdeveloped. And in terms of what the other cities that I've gone to that have surpassed this level of maturity as a city, that has surpassed this level of progress as a city, Oh, man, I was so disappointed. So my the, the, the thing in me is the universe said, change it. With a state of urgency, change it. If that's what you're feeling, change it. You came here, people didn't understand your, your situation. Write a song about it. I wrote Man Down, my state of emergency, right? Mm-hmm. That was 13 years ago. I don't think that Man Down was really received until I dedicated it to George Floyd on Juneteenth. Honestly. And so the piece is, is that when you talk about, um, uh, say the second line one more time. Uh, Self-knowing is the dynamic of destiny. I know this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Everything that I create, it has a character that's based out of a process. I never deviate from that process. So the piece is, is that everyone in that is the same way. So if you are made to do a certain thing a certain way, then you have aligned with destiny. Because that's not just in your practice, but it, you, the <laughs> the rhythm of the way you move, the way you make you move is is ultimately going to lead you to a certain destination regardless just like you put these wind up remember that football game we used to play yeah. where they did they feet didn't even move they just vibrated on top of this plane right <coughs> they vibrated it's the and same moved. thing we doing we ain't nothing different than that the universe is the one it, 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 it's sending the vibration we only going to do what we meant to do. We're reacting to it. Mm-hmm. Self-knowing. Now, I'll pass, it, I'll pass it on from there because that's 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 really me talking is just going to go around in circles from that point on because I think I made the, the, the point way okay. early. So You want to go on? I want to share the air. All right. Hey, you got something for that one, Quasi? I'm going to... I'm gonna... Self knowing, nah. self knowing is the dynamic of destiny, and when I looked up the term dynamic, let let me share with you what popped up. Of a process or system, characterized <laughs> by constant change, activity, or progress. Wow. Self knowing is a process. 
characterized by constant change, activity, or progress. So di- is the dynamic self knowing is like an energy force behind your destiny. Oh, wow. Self-knowing. That's, you know, I mean, that, and that's, that, that's a, that's a journey in itself. Hell, I mean, I just use self to talk about some, wow, God, all right. What it, in Giamme, what is the self? We talk about the absolute, complete, perfect, absolute, complete, and perfect qualities of a being that are not influenced by external circumstances. <clears throat> when you know that. When you know that, that becomes the dynamic of destiny, the dynamics of your destiny. By knowing yourself, you energize your destiny. Say the knowledge holders, the relation to the sinner is the guide for the self. The relation to the sinner is the guide for the self. Um, Mama Margarita say, Brother Kwaku is culture to you. Um, Mac Word also says, Dr. Oyibo, that's his name, Dr. Oyibo from Nigeria. God Almighty, Almighty, God God stands for God Almighty, God Almighty, Grand Unified Theorem. He, he developed uh, the, the God Almighty, Grand Unified Theorem. If you get a chance, check it out. It's God God, G A. G U T. Uh, it was a real good interview that uh Brother Shock Matthews did with him. Um the relation to the center is the guide for the self. Family, figure out that center for yourself. Let's figure out the center for us as a people. Because that's our God. I think that I will say, I know it's uh, wrapping up. One last thing I say, because the conversation about uh, astrology came up, and I, uh, you know, if you know me, you know that I take a lot of, uh, I find a lot of information and validity in astrology. But with that being said, you know, I do, I do think that it basically what astrology is. is People, it's the challenge that people need to come. It's almost your absolute value. It's kind of like your absolute value. You know what I mean? It's what you need to overcome to get back to your center. I mean, because I, like right. I, I won't discount it, and we, I, I, I won't discount it because it's basically the same thing. When you talk about astrology, it's basically the same thing as the day names. Right. There's certain qualities that individuals are prone to that are born at a certain time. There's a certain energy around these times so for me to be like yeah, oh, exactly. Ast- exactly. Uh, astrology is not is not real but you can change you i don't you you can change that vibration somebody else on the line nah. <laughs> all right the center is the reflector for the self oh my god the center is the reflector for the self. Yeah. So all this is talking about the center, but then he going to drop. <laughs> he going to drop a proverb that say the center is the reflector of the self. Yo, I want to chime back in. Go ahead. So... What's interesting, and I, uh, I I feel like if he's listening in, this is going to summon uh, uh, the Black Yoda. So with the technology I've been working with, with, uh, with uh, laser engraving and things like that, I've learned how to build the machine. And um, I mean, of course, you got to, to, to essentially to know how they work, right? Mm-hmm. So what I find is that on these rails, all right, you got the you got the laser in there, this big glass encasement uh, of a CO two laser, and that laser is aimed at a little 
like a gold mirror, right? It's four mirrors around a perimeter. And this laser has to connect perfectly with all four mirrors in order for it to cut and do the work that it needs to do. It'll go right through, but it needs to be triangulated with these mirrors to reflect. And as, it, as the laser's moving, um, it needs to maintain its reflection in all of those spaces that it's triangulated, or else it won't work. Mm. As powerful as the laser is by itself, it will not cut without the reflective quality of those mirrors. Mm. But with those mirrors, it can cut with precision. I'm talking like microcosmic precision. Right? Mm. And that is why, and I'm about to flip it, you're going to be like, what? Um, when I look at when I look at me and my movement here in Cleveland versus the establishment of routine and a certain behavior in Columbus, even though I might behave that way, I'm in Cleveland. And if I don't have those reflectors around me, you can't other cut. people won't. Exactly. See, because I'm glad, I, you know what, I'm glad you brought up that example about the laser because I was thinking, see, because I, I had to look up reflector. I mean, now, if you look on, on the worksheet, those that can see, they got key words. We got, it's key words that you're supposed to pick out from here. So, I was thinking reflection. But what you're, de- what you're talking about and what the definition Breaks down an object or device which reflects radio waves, seismic vibrations, sounds, and other ways. Um, it talks about a reflecting telescope. Where, because I, 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 those of you that know how a reflecting telescope works, is you see the reflection. It's, it focuses on the object and it shoots it into a mirror. Huh? That's exactly what's happening. That's why it needs the reflectors. It's because it's, it's, it's uh, uh, multiplying it. Power, right. Time it hits reflector. Right, right. So, so the center acts as a reflector for the self. If you know where the center is, like you said, if one of those mirrors is out of line, it won't cut. Mm-hmm. A lot of us are not effective in our lives because. We're not centered. I'll, I'll give you another example, and this is on the on the opposite side. Remember back in the day, you go to the mall, and they had those pictures that you can buy for like twenty five dollars. They're inside of a, a frame, right? And when you look at it, when you look at it initially, the picture makes no fucking sense at all. And then the guy's like, "No, no, just look at it. Just look through it." And you look through the picture, and it's like, "Oh my goodness, I see a dolphin in there." I see a dolphin jumping through some hoops. But when you look at it the way that you look at everything else, all you see is like these little specks. These specks are like, you can tell there's some type of pattern, but you can't distinguish what the pattern is until you look through it. And it's something about the reflection of the glass and the and the way that those uh, those little specks kind of move together and then you see perfectly a three-dimensional picture and you know you're looking at a two-dimensional plane. But you got to trick your mind to focus into something 3D to actually see what's inside of that. Mm. You've never seen these pictures before? No. Stop. It's an it's a optical illusion is what it is. When you look at it straightforward, it looks like a Jackson Pollock. But when you trick your mind to look through it, you see a perfect 3D image. Sometimes it was a dolphin. Sometimes it was a space shuttle going past the moon. Right? But you saw all of that because you had to teach your mind to look through it. Rather than at it. 
Exactly. So, family, hopefully we left y'all with more questions <laughs> than answers. I want to thank y'all for joining us on Tribal Quotes. I want y'all to remember, family, if y'all get a chance, stop by GNJ.media. Don't sign up yet. I just want y'all to stop by and just visit, sort of like you just driving by a house and being like, yo, yo, we're going to have a party here soon. Because we got our own site. We're going to be able to stream our own videos. We're going to be able to do all types of stuff. Family, we are coming up. Be on the lookout for the Giami Journey game. It's going to be dropping very soon. As well as we're going to also be dropping African Deep Thought Workbook. For all those that are supporting members of Giami Journey, y'all, all that, all that is on me. Now, the only one that you might have problems, well, all that is on Giami. Let me put it that way. But... The only thing that you might have problems with is the game. Because those of you that have, uh, those of you that use apples, you won't be able to use an apple um, for this because uh, I, I don't have that yet. And plus apple is more, super expensive to, to, to get stuff in the store. And um, But it will be available in the Google Play Store. Um, now, I, I will... Uh, for those that are subscribers, I'm going to place that APK, that file, into um, your Gumroad library. And you could download it directly if you want to. You know what I'm saying? But your phone might not allow you to open it up. They, you know, Android got their hustle. Like, they like Apple in that way. They got their hustle. So you got to go through them. But you can. I can show you how to open it up on your phone. Maybe. But, you know. Um, it'll be ninety nine cent in the store. Is the the goal of it is? Uh, oh man, I should have uploaded a uh, uh, a video of it. But the goal is to help Bane New the Phoenix find the Giame symbols and capture them before the swords of time destroy both of you. Helps you with your hand eye coordination, and also get you to start chasing. Instead of ta chasing WAP, you're going to be chasing um, Giami symbols. And with that, I'm going to say peace, fam. Y'all have a great night. What is a lion without his pride? What is a whale without his pie? What is a monkey without his truth? What is a wolf without his pack? The answer is very simple. They are the same thing that a human being is without a try. Pray. <laughs>